Good morning from another sunny day in Warsaw. My last day in the capital city and uh, I had a bit of a day of recovery yesterday because it was my birthday two days ago and uh, things got a little messy. <laughs> Yeah, so the night started pretty calmly. Um, I went to a Polish restaurant and had some golonka, which was absolutely wonderful. Ah! And uh, then I uh, had a bottle of red wine, which had been kindly donated to me by a fellow traveller who left that morning. And it seemed like that was uh, going to be going to be it, to be honest. Uh, and then. Had a couple of beers with an Irish guy, then sort of checked to another Irish guy, and then we all decided uh, around about midnight to leave the hostel and go find some late bars, um, which are never too far away in Warsaw. And uh, yeah, so many more beers, and then uh, I let it slip that it was my birthday, which um, that's when the shots came out. So yeah, it was probably about something like 6, 7 a.m. when I got back to the hostel. So yesterday was just basically a day of recovery and uh, yeah, I'm back on it today. It seems you can't go a single day without hearing that some TV show or some film has been removed from schedules because of its content. It was once considered acceptable but is now considered unacceptable. Gone are the days where you could spend an afternoon sat drinking a nice cup of English tea watching UK Gold show reruns of Love Thy Neighbour. Caught you red-handed with your black paw in the till, you pilfering packy! Please, you're making a big mistake. Yes, that's what they all say. You're making a mistake, my little chocolate drop. I wish to make a complaint against a nignog. <laughs> Equal rights does not entitle nignogs to move next door. Tell you what, it's them nignogs next door. <laughs> Even in my home city, Sheffield, unfunny racist Chubby Brown has uh, been banned from performing at Sheffield City Hall. Um, it seems that uh, unfunny racist jokes are no longer welcome in the city of Sanctuary. But has cancel culture gone too far? Roy Chubby Brown is Roy Chubby Brown. He's a proper gentleman, honestly. Well, that's the question that apparently is being asked at the Ujeshkovsky Centre for Contemporary Art. They have an exhibition on at the moment called Political Art, which aims to challenge the idea of cancel culture. Its critics have said that all this does is uh, show Islamophobic, anti-Jewish and just downside racist material under the banner of freedom of speech. And only a few days ago there were uh, big protests outside and the police were there and uh, yeah it's definitely divided opinion this one so I'm gonna go and check it out the presence of material uh, by one particular artist has really uh, upset people because this person uh, has in the past been accused of being uh, anti-semitic and a holocaust denier should we be allowed to see the work of someone who holds such extreme views well, I'm going to go and see, first of all, if there's any protests going on and if people will throw eggs at me for going in. <laughs> and uh, secondly, to go and look at some art. Well, I'm here at the centre. It's very quiet. Certainly no protest going on, unless that guy's protesting. But it doesn't look like he's got any eggs, so I think we should be OK. Okay, one of the main reasons uh, why people got upset about this uh, exhibition was the inclusion of uh, work by Dan Parks, who is uh, a Swedish uh, artist who has been arrested and jailed many times for uh, the content of his art. So um, I'm just going to very quickly just uh, show you some of the stuff that's uh, on display. This one, I can see how this would definitely offend people. This is very famous. Uh, photo from the Holocaust and it's called In the Ghetto and if we zoom out you can see just on the 
on the right hand side we've got Elvis. I'm not sure what the purpose of that is other than to offend. This one playing cards, these two people are the murderers and these were the victims. So I've just come out of the uh, exhibition. Is it controversial? Well, absolutely, definitely, yes. Um, very controversial. Does it have merit? Some of it absolutely does. Um, some of it was, you know, some of it was actually quite funny. Um, some of it was really powerful. Some of it was just offensive for the sake of being offensive. Um, and I didn't, it didn't have any artistic merit to me at all. I was quite surprised at uh, some of the material in there, particularly the uh, uh, Islamophobic material. Um, they did let me film uh, in the uh, gallery, but I didn't feel comfortable filming some of that stuff, which I kind of think makes a point that maybe the gallery itself is, is trying to make, but uh, some things you just can't, <laughs> you can't comment on. I think it's quite, uh, brave of the um, gallery to 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 show uh, some of that stuff um, especially you know it has been banned just about everywhere and uh, it's on display here so did i enjoy it I, yes <laughs> i definitely did uh, not all of it some of it is as i said some of it is very powerful uh, some of it is just silly and a, a bit of a laugh and uh, some of it is just to me, anyway, it's just offensive for the sake of being offensive. Um, but it's definitely worth checking out. I don't know what, what uh, dates are, I don't know when it runs to. we we'll find out on the website. Um, there are uh, other exhibitions all the time. It's uh, really well organised. And uh, yeah, it was, it was worthwhile. It was an interesting afternoon. <laughs>